Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today is a special edition of Yester Kitchen. Hey fans of all things retro, I'm Jill and this is a special edition of Yester Kitchen because guess what? Look, look down there, look. We hit a thousand, yay! So I wanted to do something really special for you because I appreciate it so much. I can't even thank you enough for your support, your love, your comments, telling your friends, all this magic stuff that brought us here. So today, I am gonna teach you how to make my drink, the one that's usually sitting right here, but today the glass is empty. We are gonna make the Dirty Martini, Jill's version. Well, it's kind of the classic version, but you know, gotta throw my name on there. <laughs> so the Dirty Martini, super easy to make. I'm also gonna answer a couple questions that I've been getting from you guys. But first we're gonna start with the martini, because martini. So, our glass. And today I'm using a clear glass so you can see what I'm doing, but normally I love my colored martini glass set. So martinis can be made two ways. One is in a shaker, and one is in a martini pitcher. I've actually been using a shaker forever, and then recently, I wanna share this with you, my husband's grandfather passed about a month ago, and when we went to his house and went for the memorial, I saw this. Look at that. Even the, there we go. 25th anniversary. So this 25 year should be something pretty special, but his grandfather and grandmother were married for 77 years. I know, so this, this was like a drop in the bucket, but it also made me realize how old this room is. So this is really special, and it's come to be my favorite way to make a martini. But you can easily use a shaker. The only thing with a shaker is when you shake it, don't do this because you're gonna get tiny little ice chips all over the top of your martini. And I know some people like that, but martini is just supposed to be pristine, perfect little ponds of vodka, flavored vodka, any vodka, but no ice chips. And the martini pitcher allows you to do that. If all you have is a shaker, no problem. You're just gonna just kind of shake it a little, little gently. So let's get started. First, you're gonna fill either vessel with ice cubes. You don't really need to fill it up all the way, just to here, and then you're really cooling your drink down. Okay, so we're gonna put our vessel right there. And who's my favorite band? <laughs> my all-time favorite band, so that's my shot glass. This is vodka, I promise you. I just didn't wanna deal with the whole handle, but my favorite vodka is Tito's. It may not be the most expensive, but for me, it is the best. You're gonna put in two shots of vodka. Unless you're in a super party mood, then put in play. And I think we're celebrating, so we're going to go for maybe uh, two and a half. How's that? Okay, now let's talk vermouth. Vermouth, you want dry vermouth. Sweet vermouth is for plenty of other drinks, wonderful drinks, and for a dirty martini. You want dry vermouth. My favorite is, can you see it there? Noily Crack. It just is perfect, although any vermouth will be fine. So vermouth is just there to enhance the martini. You don't want to taste it. So literally, you want a, a drop. So I'm just going to pour the tiny, like you just want to see a drop. If it's easier, when my husband makes me martinis, he pours some vermouth in a cap and just puts a drop in. Actually, I'll do it this way. And by the way, one day I'll get into an episode of Literally. Oh, that's probably too much. I'm not very good with the caps. I do it right out of the bottle. Barely anything. Then, you want to take olive juice. Some companies call it dirty martini mix, but literally, all it is is olive juice from a jar of olives. And you want a half a shot of that. If you like more, add more. If you like less, less. I kind of like that salty feel. And that's pretty much it. Now, we're either going to shake lightly or just give it a stir. Okay. We got our glass. Kind of put that there to keep the ice at bay. And there you have a perfect dirty martini. 
my favorite. Now, of course, we're gonna dirty martini be with our garnishes. You can put cocktail onions in, that's fine. I prefer olives and I prefer blue cheese stuffed olives and I don't like the olives out of the jar that are stuffed with blue cheese because you don't know how old the cheese is. If you wanna see how I stuff them, check out my Love Bullet episode. That's one of my favorites, actually. I think my all-time favorite episode is probably my cheese fondue. What's my most popular episode? Sloppy Joe's. Go figure, all American. And my favorite series on tour. And I was going through everything, and it's either between have a retro party because <laughs> cocktails, retro, but I also love my TV food phase series. That's where I got a little nuts and just highlighted one TV show from each decade and spotlighted a dish from the decade and kind of gave you more trivia than you will ever want to know about the show. So those were really fun to make. Okay, so olives. I like blue cheese. You can have whatever kind of olive you want. But I'm gonna show you really quick what I do because I just don't like cheese stuffed olives that have been sitting on the shelf. So here we have your basic olive. I just take a toothpick, pop out the pimento, stuff it with blue cheese as I've done, and now I've got a little pick. And I always put on three or four olives because my husband always likes to come and take them. So together, we have six kids, two grandkids, all amazing. And now the only thing left to do, let's get that out of the way, get the olives in. So that's it. One perfect dirty martini. And I am gonna cheers to you, because without you, I wouldn't still be here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I have so many more wonderful retro dishes and stories coming your way. But for now, you know I need to take a sip. So cheers. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Got one last thing for you. I get a lot of questions on, what is this on your arm? So I'm gonna show you. This is, oh, I gotta get this. Okay. So here's my ink. There's my measuring spoon that I absolutely love. And there is my knife, and just so you know, it really is my knife. <laughs> and my whisk, and my bows, because I am at the core of me a girly girl. But I did bring my knife into my artist, and I said I want this right there. So that's it, I just wanted to come in and say thank you. We'll be back on Friday with our regularly scheduled episodes, so I just wanted to thank you again. Thank you! Thank you for everything. Thank you for the support, thank you for the love. Thank you for enjoying Retro. Cheers to you.